Coming up with Ben McGrail. Molly in Bridgewater. Ben, I do eat meat from a local butcher, but I always ask how it was killed. If it's killed humanely, I'll eat it, but I won't eat halal meat because I don't think... Um, well, I'm, I was going to read out what, what um, Molly said there, but it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not particularly pleasant, the, the exact details of how that animal is killed. But I know what you mean, Molly, and thank you very much for your call. Now, Mark has sent me an email. Hello, Mark. Ben, I only eat meat which has been ethically produced, with the animal's welfare being the most important factor in my choice. We are the most intelligent species on the planet, which doesn't give us the right to treat everything else as we please, but makes us responsible for the care and well-being of those species that aren't bestowed with the intellect we've been blessed with. If you can't afford high welfare meat as a regular part of your diet, then simply eat less or buy cheaper cuts. Be thrifty with it and treat it with respect. Some strong words from Mark. This debate is raging this morning. Clinton is a butcher in Ilminster. Hello, Clinton. Good morning, Ben. So you must be butchering, or not butchering, but certainly working in the we're shop. We're, we're actually, yeah, we're, we're in the shop at the moment, yeah. But you want to talk about meat, because we've been discussing today, should we eat meat? And as a butcher, why, why are you passionately a meat lover? Well, I think uh, what, we, what we've heard in the press, we've had, uh, you know, the meat has a bad press. It's one minute it, you can eat uh, one thing and the next minute they say it's not good for you. One minute you can eat a, have three glasses of wine, the next thing it's bad for you. So people are very confused. And um, I think it does lead, I think that meat it should give you a, a balanced diet. I'm not a whole heart to say you should have uh, meat seven days a week and eat for 500 kilos of it. And I don't think, we don't eat meat, you know, I don't eat meat seven days a week. I would say we probably conservatively eat it five days a week. Uh, which is, I would have thought, just about where we should be. Uh, meat consumption or beef consumption has gone down uh, since the early 80s, uh, as well as uh, lamb consumption uh, as a meat, and um, and so and so as milk, whole milk production's gone down, whole whole milk sales. How much do your customers talk about eating healthily and thinking about what they eat? Well, I think we're uh, we're sort of an independent butchers in Ilminster, and. We do discuss it, and what we do here and what it should be done is nutritionally, um, non-intensively reared meat or animals or which are, are, are slaughtered for meat uh, is far better for you than intensive. Um, if you look at all these recent studies, most of them come out of America, and Americans uh, have the most intensive food production in the world, and so there are ob obviously issues there. And, um, you know, that so we've... You know, the latest study was done by Unilever. Well, they're known for selling pot noodles, so it shows you well, what sort of state we're in. I'm going to let you go back to your customers, Clinton. I hope you have a nice, busy day. Thank you very much indeed, Ben. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Clinton Bonner, a butcher in Ilminster. So one point of view there. Mike, um, who's in Taunton, says, Ben, when my wife was diagnosed with bowel cancer two years ago, her consultant told her to watch very carefully what she eats. Plenty of high fibre and to cut right back on red meat because red meat was causing the problems with um, human bowels. Margaret in Chard. A while ago, I studied the Bible a bit, and while I'm not particularly religious, I think there's a perfect answer to whether we should eat meat in Romans 14. It says that it's not wrong to eat either meat or herb, it's what you make of it. So if you think it's wrong, then you shouldn't do it. Personally, I eat meat, and I think it's only wrong when they start packing it with toxins and add additives. And Shirley says, we breed chickens for their eggs, cows for their milk, for which we process cheese. Cheese is a kind of meat, a tasty yellow beef. I milk it from my teeth, but I try to be discreet. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. Butter and cream. Why breed these birds and animals for these foods and just kill and burn or bury them? I don't eat much meat, only twice a week, fish the same. A balanced diet with plenty of vegetables and fruit is the most important thing. Coming up with Ben McGrail. Text will be charged at your network's standard message rate. BBC Somerset.